So I came out here tonight to try to camp. That's the way we come in between these two rock walls over here. Oh yeah, lighting duty is my X3, MMU X3. Started pulling down here. You see how deep these ruts are. There's around eight inches on the ground right now. Pulled up to about here and decided that looks kind of snowy, so I'm gonna hop out and look. Hopped out, came up here and looked. This tree was not here right then. Walked over here, saw how much snow there was in the path that we usually go down between those two trees over there. I was like, oh, I'm not okay with that because there's a whole bunch of ruts and crap here that I could roll over potentially. So I walked back to my truck, which was right there, proceeded to back out and could not. I just could, I tried all kinds of stuff, could not back out. I'm on pretty street oriented uh, BF Goodrich tires. So I figured there's no point in struggling. I'm just gonna go down there, get the brass that I came out here to get. Drove down there to the campsite that's way over there somewhere. Kinda got all my brass, looked around a little bit, played with some of my flashlights, such as this one. Man, that camera don't like that thing. And then came back out here to drive out and couldn't. <laughs> so I went way down there, came up the side over here on the other side of this tree, not that tree, this tree, went between these two trees and came around over here and tried to cut up between that tree and there's the stump of that tree. And that was too deep. That's around a foot over there. Couldn't make it. So I backed up, back over there, and had to cut this tree down to go over it. You see my tire tracks just to the left and to the right of it. And that's this tree. It is dead. I didn't cut down a living tree. I cut down the dead one instead of that living one over there, which I don't even know if I would have been able to make it over there anyway. And then came through these tracks here. And then battled my way up along the edge of this where, uh, on the right I'm saying, right there where you see the dirt, where I could cook up a little bit. Uh, so I am completely winded from cutting that tree down, which that's blocking my way in there. It's not that heavy, it's dead like I said. Oh, there's some wind, that's chilly. I should probably have my jacket on. Yeah, I don't, but you can see uh, let's get this on low. There we go. You can see just how deep these are. If you can even hear me with all this wind. And my tires were going over here. Trying to hook up. That's what that skid mark up there is. There you can see it a little better now. You see how deep this is and how chopped up. It's around 8 or 10 inches somewhere. Oh, that's about a foot where I just stepped. No, that's more than that. It went up to my knee. But uh, I don't think I'm going to stay the night out here anymore. Not tonight anyway, because I am whooped. I'll go build a fire, hang out for a little bit, and then I'm going home. And that's the entrance I was talking about between the two rock walls. This is Switzerland Trail for those who live around here. And that's what I was driving there. My stereo, I'll show you the tires I was talking about. Not anywhere near aggressive enough. Radial long trail. It could be long, it just can't be hard. The trail I'm saying. But you see, it's all filthy. See ya.